Hey guys, the evacuation sirens are sounding in the House office buildings and over at the U.S. Capitol. Uh, as an evacuation drill has started. Let's go and see if we can get a bit closer. That was cool. Evacuate, evacuate, evacuate. They're evacuating all the buildings. Morning. There are giant speakers on top of all the buildings telling everyone to get out. So all the staff are coming out of the buildings, moving to their rally points, which are over here. They've blocked off access to the roads. Hey, Netherlands. Here at the U.S. Capitol with me, where the Capitol Police are conducting evacuation drills. They're evacuating the Capitol and all the buildings, all the office buildings, especially. Let's see where else we can go. I'm on a bike. We're gonna go down this street. So everybody's being told to evacuate all the buildings. And they have to go to their rally points. I think I'm gonna put this side. They're evacuating the Library of Congress as well. So this is a campus-wide evacuation. The Capitol, all the buildings, everyone's being told to get out. I don't think the Supreme Court is going out. So you can see everyone that's like the maintenance staff, the congressional aides, the press, they're all being evacuated out of the Cannon building right now. And actual the US Congress is being, the actual Capitol is being evacuated too. Police have blocked access to all the roads down here. So pretty crazy day. I'm gonna get out of here. Let's go this way. So this is the Library of Congress, the Congress Library they're evacuating. They have rally points set up in various parks, and that's where they do a head count of all the staff to make sure the staff is properly evacuated. You can hear the sirens. They're still running around. Um, They prepare for all sorts of emergencies here. Anything from errant aircraft to chemical attack. There's actually some high-ranking police chiefs over here overseeing the evacuation drill. I think we go this way. So this is the staff. Uh, it's an evacuation drill. They're doing a campus-wide U.S. Congress, U.S. House, U.S. Senate uh, evacuation, including the Library of Congress. The number of threats to the Congress has gone up.
Sorry about the wind noise, guys. I don't have my mic. I have it, but it's buried somewhere. I'm going to try to get across the street. So this is the old Library of Congress. They're evacuating as well. Yeah, they announced this over the weekend. Let's see if we can sneak in, take a look at the Senate side, see if the Senate side is also evacuating along with the House side. The Supreme Court is right here. They did not. Have they done this before? Yeah, but um, usually it's just one or two buildings. To be honest, <laughs> They have a false alarm drill about a couple of times a year. They always have some crazy thing go on. There's someone protesting. So we're coming over to the Senate side now. And I can hear the alarms going off on the Senate buildings. To be honest, the alarms are a bit quiet because the alarms are really loud. You can hear them all over the Capitol. I think they put them on, like, do not disturb. Or something. It's closed off here on the Senate side as well. These are the Senate office buildings back here. Nancy Pelosi is back. She's actually in the Capitol. That's where she spent most of her time. That's the Sewell Belmont House. That was the house where the suffragettes used to meet. And now it's like a museum to women's voting rights. The pipe bombs were over at um, over at the Republican National Headquarters and the Democratic National Headquarters. Those were back on the House side. You remember where I kind of stopped for a minute and turned around? That was uh, that's where the pipe bombs were. Capitol Police Headquarters over there, that big building there. This is the Hart Building. Is there a way for headphones? I can't find my headphone. That's what's annoying me. <laughs> I had the headphones, but I just filmed the phone handing, and I had the headphones for that, and I put it somewhere, and now, now I can't seem to fly into the headset. It's really annoying me, because I know the wind noise must be just atrocious. what happens when you have too many pockets in your bag, yeah? You put something in a pocket, and then it just goes, it disappears on you. I got it. All right, guys, hang on. Hang on. Okay, is that better on the wind noise, guys? What did I say on the title? I don't even remember. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, way better. I'm sorry about that, guys. I just, I, I had a mic. I brought a mic. I just misplaced the mic. Pretty annoying. All right, so let's go down here. 
RFK Stadium's down is a bit. It's about 15 blocks away. That's where the National Guard headquarters is. This is the Capitol Police motor pool down here. You can see this is where they've got this road blocked off. I can't even go over here. This used to be a homeless shelter, and then they, uh, they cleaned it out. That's why the fence is there, to keep the homeless from coming back. Hey, Aloha. We've got an evacuation drill at the U.S. Congress, U.S. Capitol Complex. It's involving the House, the Senate, the Library of Congress. David, uh, filming, sorry, we're just filming all the staff running around. Yeah, you got it, you go. I think we're going to go here in a second. So we're going to swing around. Yeah, they got Capitol Police down here as well. Let's kind of cross over to Union Station side. And we'll swing back over to the Senate side. Try to get up to the Capitol. But as you can tell, the police have kind of closed access to all the roads going into the Capitol. But you don't work here and not learn a few back roads. So, oh, what the hell? <laughs> this will be fun. Sorry, guys. Pipe. <laughs> so that is the Union Station, the train station, and the Capitol is back up over there. We're going to try to get closer again, but as you guys have noticed, they've got big police cars everywhere. So I mentioned they closed the homeless camp, so the homeless people just moved down here. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of whack-a-mole sometimes. They, they move them and then they get... Oh, now, this is a rally point for the Senate. That is true. So this is all the Senate staff, and they're out in this park, which is their rally point, and then the police come provide protection to the rally point should there be some sort of attack or anything. So you can see here all the Senate staff sitting here at the rally point, and then they're responsible to get head counts if anyone's missing, they have to report. And then the police patrol the rally points in case someone decides to attack, you know, a bunch of unarmed congressional aides. How oh, it is breaky. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I was just suffering the limitations of bandwidth with suddenly thousands of people outside with nothing to do but play Angry Birds. <laughs> it's basically put some kibosh on the bandwidth. Biden just returned. We just saw Marine One come in this morning. I filmed that. I'll put that video up later. Let's see what they got going on down here. This is a fountain. We're kind of limited where we can go. So... Let's make our way around this side. And there you can see the media covering that. It's Fox News, C-SPAN. That's uh, C-SPAN, NBC, CNBC, Fox News. They're all in that building. Okay, let's see if we can get a little closer. It seems the problem is it's like every intersection has a cop. And they're basically telling you, go away. But once it opens, I'm going to go back up to the Capitol. In fact, yeah. thank you. I think there's cops here too. 10:15. All right, let's see if we can cross here and go into the park. There we go. More police down at this intersection. They've actually closed off the entire Capitol complex. No vehicle can approach on Capitol Hill, which is actually a traffic nightmare, to be honest. They put up the barriers. Yep, see the barricades are up. I'll show you these barricades. 
So this is uh, Constitution Avenue. This is one of the two main avenues that run by the Capitol. And they've got these 9-11 uh, style barriers that just sort of pop up. Here you go, got a good view of the barriers. And, oh, we can see the fence. I showed you guys my video last night of the fence. We're actually back down there. Do you read text -to speech No, I'm actually reading these comments. Those barriers are everywhere, Joseph, man. They got those things all over. This is an evacuation drill being conducted at the U.S. Congress Capitol. Okay, no worries. He told me I have to go over this way. So go over this way, we're doing a drill. So I've got to evacuate over to the reflecting pool. Oh, looks like there's a protest out there. I don't think that's part of the drill, but we can go out that way. We're not going to get any closer. They're kicking us back another block. The reflecting pool has been drained. Whoa. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I can still hear the alarms. Can you hear them? Beep, beep, beep. It's like a little chirping sound. They used to be much louder. I mean, you could hear them everywhere. Oh, Porta potty. All right, let's go check out this protest while we're at it. They drain the reflecting pool. <laughs> then they just put those cones in there. I guess those are the those are the the drain plugs where the water goes out. This beautiful blue sky today. So we have some sort of protest, but they don't have any signs. Maybe this is a, uh, oh, there's some signs. Living wage now. No, I stand with. I stand with immigrant refugees. That's what the sign said. So that's an immigration protest. Immigrant refugees. Oof, we stop. There we go. Uh, it's like 10.15 here in Washington. We're now six hours apart because you guys, are you, are you guys still on summertime in the UK? We just ended summertime Sunday, so everything's kind of messed up. There you guys can see the fence I showed you in the video yesterday. You see it, it's at the top of the west front, but it only extends from about the Senate chamber, which is there, to the house chamber. It doesn't go around the sides. Okay. Let's see. Ah, uh, we can get that out. Summertime landed last month. You're on GMT now. Okay, so I, don't, I guess we're we're still we're back to five hours apart. For a couple weeks, we're all messed up between the U.S. and the U.K. The reflecting pool is drained. Yeah, it's kind of weird looking. Well, there are some news crews covering it. The, the Capitol Police put out a tweet on Saturday saying that they're going to do this. And then the D.C. Police retweeted yesterday saying, hey, if you're on Capitol Hill, watch out. They're going to do this. And now they're doing it. I don't know how long it's supposed to last. I mean, it's been 15 minutes or something. You figure it a drill is a drill, short drill. Let's go back over to the house side again, yeah? I tell you, the perimeter gets bigger and bigger, though. The area that I can go in, and it just keeps moving around. Okay. This is Independence Avenue up here, and I suspect it's closed as well. Closed to traffic as well. That's the Health and Human Services Building, HHS. And here we are. Oh no, the barriers are down. They've reopened this road. Maybe the drills come to an end on the house side.
Is the road near the White House closed? At this moment, no, not really. I mean, the ellipse was closed for the helicopter landing, but I suspect it's reopened. I mean, it's not. I mean, so many roads by the White House are closed anyway. So they have pop-up barriers here, but they must have uh, put the barriers back down. I guess the house side has ended their drill. So these are the pop-up barriers on the house sides. I'm near the National Botanical Garden. Yeah, right here, the Botanic Garden. And then that's the Bartholdi Fountain over there. That was guy, the guy who did the Statue of Liberty did that fountain over there. It's really quite beautiful. So I think we can go back up. Did I track Marine One? 1.30 Wednesday in the morning. I did not, but Kyle Mazza, Kyle Mazza, who's another uh, reporter, YouTuber guy, he actually has press credentials. And he was on the White House grounds at 1.30 in the morning on Wednesday when Marine One was. And he, he uh, tweeted his video from the White House at 1.30. He actually asked uh, a question about the Virginia elections, but the president didn't answer. So. It's K-Y-L-E-M-A-Z-Z-A. And you can find him on Twitter, Kyle Mazza. And he was on the White House grounds this morning uh, when Marine One landed. I haven't seen his pictures yet. I know he was taking pictures. You can still hear the alarm going off. Okay. Hang on a second. You guys wanted to see this the other... In my video, you guys asked about this yesterday. Let me go show you this. Oh, bumpy as hell. So this is the construction headquarters over here this building they built this temporary building security trailer authorized personnel only a bunch of these construction trailers uh, i guess we're reopened i'm gonna get yelled at i don't know if it was the video got stopped yeah, the cop yelled at me. <laughs> you should be able to hear the alarms, though, can't you? My signal could be doing weird stuff. All sorts of weird stuff happens up here. Still going on. Still hear the beepers. No picture. Black screen. Ah, they're blacking me out somehow. I'm about a. I'm about a city block from the building. They've had a lot of security issues up here at the Capitol lately. I'm gonna go back on the street. How's the camera, guys? Hang on a second. That's me. Okay, did that fix the camera? No, it didn't fix it. Yeah. All right, so I guess we're done with the video for now. Don't know what's up. But, uh, Oh, actually, it's pretty still no, still black. All right. Okay, guys, we got a black camera. I tell you what, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna just film without YouTube. Maybe you guys can get something later. I'll put up a video later. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe or like this video. Uh, it helps me out a lot. I'm gonna make a video uh, later. Check the leads. <laughs> And we'll make a we'll make a, a better video coming up soon. See you guys soon. Bye bye.